Welcome to the Steris Animal Health Endoscopy Reprocessing video series. Step 1 uses the Revitalox enzymatic sponges and the Revitalox container system. Steris Revitalox enzymatic sponges are an all-in-one, pre-diluted enzymatic detergent and impregnated sponge that's safe and effective for removing gross contaminants that could damage your scope or be a means for cross-contamination. Proteins left over from patient procedures could harden and potentially clog your air water and biopsy channel, which could result in unwanted scope repair. The Revitalox container system is designed to safely transport and or soak flexible endoscopes and accessories. It's a convenient way to carry your coiled endo-eye or other flexible endoscopes post-procedure. For pre-cleaning, you'll also need a clean, lint-free cloth, a small basin of water, distal tip protector, a blue air water inlet cover, the air water cleaning adapter, and the 60 milliliter syringe that came with the endo eye. As always, you'll want to have your personal protective equipment available and properly fit to standards before you begin pre-cleaning. Immediately after the procedure, power off the endoscope and remove the batteries. If using the optional lens washing system, remove it now. Next, take one of the included blue air water inlet covers and insert it into the air water inlet port. We'll flush this port later in the process. Take a damp, lint-free cloth and wipe the external surfaces on the control body and the electronics module. Now, wipe the working portion of the endoscope from the boot to the distal tip. Next, flush the biopsy channel with water. Place the endo-eyes distal tip into the basin and flip open the rubber cap over the biopsy port cover. To flush the biopsy channel with water, fill the syringe with water to the 50 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe tip into the biopsy port cover and flush. Repeat once. Now, repeat the process flushing with air. Draw 50 milliliters of air into the syringe and repeat the flush process three to four times as needed to flush out any obstructions in the channel. Before using the Revitalox products, Follow a similar process to flush the air water channel with water. First, remove the air water valve from the control body and replace it with the air water cleaning adapter. Set your valve to the side to wash later. Now flip open the air water inlet cover that we installed at the beginning of pre-cleaning. Repeat the process we used on the biopsy channel, flushing with both air and water. To flush the air channel, Fill the syringe to the 50 milliliter mark, insert the syringe into the air water inlet cover, and flush. To flush the water channel, we follow the same process while pressing down on the air water cleaning adapter. Next, open one of the Revitalox enzymatic sponges. Note the slot in the sponge. Place your insertion tube in the slot and run the sponge up and down the entire length of the insertion tube several times to remove any remaining visible bioburden. Now, use the syringe to remove the remaining enzymatic solution that's in the bag. Inject the solution into the endo-eyes biopsy channel. Flush again with air to clear the channel. Finally, place a tip protector on the distal tip of your scope and place the pre-cleaned endo-eye into the Revitalox container. Be careful not to coil your scope too tightly. Now, cover the scope for transportation. This completes step one, pre-cleaning of your endo-eye. In step two, we review the proper cleaning of your endoscope. 